It's safe to say softball is in Caitlin Strauss's blood. Her parents even met on the city softball field behind Ferris High School. After starring at Ferris herself for four years, Strauss took her talents to a Division III junior college and helped accomplish something no other athletic program in school history ever had. Growing up, Strauss had a role model to look up to when she began her softball career. My sister Michelle played softball from the time she was in 10U up till she graduated and went and played in college for a couple years at SFCC. And I always looked up to her and wanted to be a pitcher like her, so kind of followed in her footsteps a little bit. When she eventually arrived at Ferris High School and began pitching for the Saxons, it was not smooth sailing right away. I was definitely extremely, extremely wild. Strauss dialed it in by adding a screwball to her repertoire. She was on track to break the GSL strikeout record her senior year, but the season was shortened due to COVID-19. I went and played club ball all summer and we traveled to places like Arizona and Texas for college exposure tournaments and really tried to get me recruited through that. But it was pretty tough because all of the college uh, softball teams were getting those extra years of eligibility. So if I went to a college, it was gonna be over packed with softball players. And I was like, I don't know what to do. After committing to Division Three North Dakota State College of Science, Strauss had yet another setback right away. My very first practice back, we were working on base running and the catcher's trying to like do throwdowns. And I slid into second base and messed up my ankle pretty badly. Uh, and I think I was in a boot for about two and a half months. With her injury, Strauss played her freshman spring season at less than 100%, but still broke the school strikeout record by 118 Ks and led Division Three with 323 en route to being named conference and regional MVP and a first team All-American. Like you really need to dig deep and you need to push yourself because you only get to play softball at a competitive level for so long. I had something to work towards that I was like, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and beat this record, so I'm gonna do this for myself, I'm gonna do it for my team. This season, Strauss and her teammates set their sights on loftier goals. We wanna become national champions. I think halfway through the season, like in my brain, I. I had the mindset of I'm not settling for anything less than first place. The Wildcats did just that, using a six run bottom of the seventh inning in the national championship to walk off Corning and win the first national title in any sport in school history. You can hear about it happening, you see it in the Hallmark movies, and but you never imagine that it could actually happen. Like the energy was huge, like there were tears shed. It was crazy. Strauss was named the most outstanding pitcher of the World Series and graduated upon her return to North Dakota. Now she is on to bigger things. You don't really get to experience like the big things in life so much unless you push yourself to to be more competitive to play at the next level. And I ultimately decided that I wanted to take the offer from a UND University of North Dakota. Now as Strauss makes the jump to Division I, she will face much heftier competition, but she believes she is ready for the challenge and looks to continue making Spokane and the Ferris community proud. In the studio, Andrew Quinn, Krem2 Sports.